What up, everybody? Instruct the Beats back again here with another angle lesson. Today, we're going to be talking about compliments and supplements, right? All about angles today. So let's dive in to our lesson today. So the first thing I'm going to do is we got to write down some math vocabulary. Complementary and supplementary. What do they mean in regards to angles and math? What in the world am I talking about? I don't know. It's late at night. I'm kind of crazy. So complementary angles are when the sum of two angles is 90 degrees, right? Equals 90 degrees. If that is the case, we call the angles complementary, okay? Or complementary. I don't really know how to say it because I do math, not English. Supplementary okay, is when the sum of two angles is 180 degrees. In other words, a straight angle. We call those angles supplementary. A lot of times we kind of get these two things uh, confused. So supplementary starts with an S and straight starts with an S. And a straight angle and supplementary angles both equal 180 degrees. So if you think about the S, that might help you. And then if supplementary is 180, that means complementary would have to be 90, right? So process of elimination there. This is actually um, it's going to build on our adding and subtracting fraction lesson that we just did just introducing these two fun words. So first, let's go ahead and look at complementary angles, right? So not a compliment like, hey pig, oi, 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 oi. you look very acute today, right? I shouldn't have to, but I'm going to. This is angle P-I-G, right? Angle pig, and it is an acute angle, and it looked very acute today. Oh. Huh? I know, we're pretty funny here at Instruct Beats. But no, that's not what we're talking about because that would be complement with an I right here instead of an E, right? So let's take a look at a math example. So here's a real life math example, right? Angle A and angle B are complementary. If angle B measures 30 degrees, what is the measure of angle A? So we know that angle B is 30 degrees right here. We know together these are complement complementary which means they're gonna form a right angle, right? They're gonna be exactly equal to 90 degrees. Well, if angle B is 30, then this is just a simple math equation. 30 plus what equals 90, or 90 minus 30 will give you the missing number, which is 60. So angle A is going to have to be 60 degrees. So they're just gonna kinda of use complementary here to tell us really 90, and then we write a math equation, and we solve it using our adding and subtracting degree knowledge that we talked about last video. So here's supplementary, right? So angle CAG and GAT are supplementary, right? Which means 180 degrees. So what is the measure of angle GAT? So we know the whole thing from here to here is makes a straight angle, right? These two angles together can bind, supplement each other to make 180 degrees. So 120 right here. So 120 plus what, my question mark, is going to equal 180, right? I'm looking for this missing angle right here. Well, some of you might know it's 60, or you could just do 180 minus 120 and get 60. So my missing angle right here, angle G A T, right? G A T is got to be equal to 60 degrees. So again, very simple, just learning two math vocabulary words and doing some basic math. Let's take a look at a U-try problem. Now, I have two U-try problems, so this is our first one. So go ahead and pause the video, push uh, play once you solve it to check your work, and see how you did. So hopefully you just paused it, right? So it says angle C and angle D are complementary. So this must be D right here. Sorry, I forgot to label that. If angle D is equal to, so if this little tiny angle right here is equal to 8 degrees, right? This angle D. What is angle C? Well, I know complementary, right, is another word of just saying, hey, together they make a right angle. They make 90 degrees. So if that's 8, right, so 8 plus angle C, or whatever this is, right, we don't know what this is, that's my question mark, is going to equal 90. So what is 90 minus 8? Obviously that would be 82 degrees. So my missing angle right here would have to be 82 degrees to make these complement each other or equal 90 degrees. Hopefully you got that one right. If not, go ahead and try this next one. So here we have our second you try problem, okay? So go ahead and pause the video, read it, and then push play when you're ready to check your work. So hopefully you just pause it, right? It says there are two angles that are supplementary. 
One of the angles is 175 degrees. How many degrees is the other angle? So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and draw this out. Okay, there's two angles. There we go. One of them is 175. That's gonna be really, really close, right? So this angle right here is 175 degrees. I wanna know, hey, what is this little angle over here that I don't know? So we're just gonna set up a basic math quote, right? Supplementary, straight angle for the S, that's 180 degrees. So 175 plus what would give me 180? Probably don't even need to subtract for that, just count up, which by the way, we have a wonderful first grade count up song. Amazing, you should check it out on our YouTube channel. And so that would be five degrees. So my missing angle right here, this tiny little angle has got to be five degrees because then when you add those up, that would give you a full straight angle of 180 degrees. So hopefully that's just a little quick introduction to complementary and supplementary angles. Hope that makes sense. If not, go back and rewatch the video and it's okay to fail as long as you learn from it. Thank you so much for checking us out today. We really appreciate it. We know there's lots of different options online. Please check out instructbeats.com for all your merchandise that you totally want to buy. Uh, you know, maybe Christmas is coming up because you're watching it. Maybe someone's birthday. Okay, maybe the 4th of July. Celebrate America by buying some Instruct Beats merchandise. All right. Again, thank you so much. Instruct Beats out.